Hi, Editing Kelly here. Um, I just want to apologize because as I notice as I look through some of these magazines with you, I kind of start to whisper and the camera work isn't always super steady because I was on a, a handheld, like a, a stick, like a handheld tripod. So I apologize for the shaky and I apologize for the whispering. Just imagine that I'm sitting right beside you and we're looking at these together and maybe turn up the volume if you have to. Thanks. Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Unpacking the Trunk Costumes. Today I'm going to show you some magazines that I found that are quite old um, and they are all centered around fall time. So the first one is fall and winter and then I have an August. So, and then the rest are actually October 1920s delineators. So I thought I'd show these to you because it's that time of year to look at fall clothes. Yay, my favorite time of year. So here we go. This first item is my husband found at a uh, estate sale and I'm kind of afraid of it because it is literally falling apart. It's the Cardui Fashion Magazine, Fall and Winter, 1908 to 1909 check out this beautiful woman here on the front. Cardui is something to do for women's relief. Look at the patterns you could get. Lovely shirt waists, children's clothing. Oh, look at the walking skirts. Oh yeah. And there we have a, looks like a corset cover, and a, either a blouse or a chemise, looks like a, like a slip, could be a pinafore I guess, beautiful, look at the lace, I'm going to hold this down so you can kind of see, look at her hat, they're both hats, little children's clothes, oh, look at the stripes on that. Here's some more waists. And look at this dress with the different bodices. So here we have some more waists. Children. Skirts. Looks like house dresses. There's a chunk of that one missing. It looks like it was a waist. Isn't that pretty? Make that for every day. Those, some more waists. Little girls. Skirts. Those. Oh. Little girls. There's some combinations. And a beautiful waist. Like this. Her hair is little children, skirts, waists, children, waist, and beautiful, like a wrapper dress. Clothing pictures of clothing for you. Look at those. Oh, look at that. No, there aren't any descriptions of them really. Look at her little hat. Oh. This looks like a black snail pattern I have of a fan skirt. It reminds me of. Look at all the insertion lace.
Sorry for all the airplane noise. I live really close to, not really close, but I live within the flight path of the airport. Even though I'm way out in the country, we still fly around here. All right, now we're going to move on to 1910. Well, I thought we were gonna move on to 1910, but when I pulled the cardboard off of the, the Cardewey book, I found this. Spring and summer, 1906, and I know that's not the season we're talking about today, but catalog, men's and boys clothing, hats and shoes and furnishings, Nebraska clothing, Omaha, Kansas City. Men's overalls and jumpers, bar, barber and waiter's coats, breadwinner jackets and overalls, 90 cents each. Corduroy suits and pants, trunks, suitcases, and bags. So now we're moving on to 1910, a good time number. So a number was the old timey word that was used for an issue. Like we call this an issue of this magazine. They called them numbers then. So this is a woman's home companion, 15 cents, August 1910. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? Published by the Kroll Publishing Company. So I put a, a, a sticky note in where I thought we might want to look because it directly deals with fashion. There's so many interesting things in this magazine. But I thought because this is a costuming channel, I will go right into the beautiful, beautiful costume. Uh, sorry, clothing. So this is the fashion department conducted by Grace Margaret Gould. And I gotta wonder, who was she? I'm gonna research and find out who she was because Gould is one of my family names. Look at this. I'm raising my hand right now because I wanna make this. Is that just lovely? Bib waist with gimp flounce skirt with slashed tunic, a graceful afternoon frock for summer developed in plain and dotted foulard. Look at the back. Miss Gould's dressmaking lesson. Oh my gosh, those look so comfortable. Look how pretty their hair is. It's not a way. The satisfied woman is the woman who, sense, who knows her gown fits snugly, that plackets, seams, and folds lie smooth and close. She knows because she always uses Pete's patent invisible eyes. Stockings. Another beautiful, beautiful waist modish midsummer gowns. I know we're supposed to be talking about fall, but I can't help it. These were designed by Miss Gould. Oh, it's so pretty. And there's the back. And there's the front of this one. And there's the front and back of this one. Oh, that's really pretty. Waist with pointed collar, flounce skirt with cord tunic. Here's something for busy and idle hours. Miss School has given us more designs here. Look at this. That looks comfortable. Oh, look at these aprons. There's that one. Buttoned on shoulders, it says. There's the packs. So now we're gonna move on to the 1920s. So first I have a delineator from October. 1922 and it was published so delineators were published by Butterick so you'll see lots of fashion lots of pattern ideas and things in here so yay this isn't sewing or costumes this is the story the ideal small house let me show you what is in the ideal small house floor plan okay so you've got your usual your entryway living room porch um, dining room, 
kitchen. Um, there's your little pantry and coat closet. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs, here you have a bedroom, a bedroom, there's your hall, there's your stairs are in the back. Bedroom, but look what's right off the bedroom. Oh yeah, sewing room or sleeping porch. No, 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 sewing room please. <laughs> and look too, it has windows to let in natural light. Here's the new in New York, and this was always a section of the delineator. But this whole part here is about underwear. It was not too long ago that the sudden hip figure followed these lines. The sudden hip figure. Huh. I thought it was all about the waist. <laughs> so what is this lady here? The wraparound corset accommodates the average figure. The typical front lace corset. Brasseries for medium figures and slight affairs. For the young girl, corsets are in vogue. The brasserie is all important. Corsets are long over the hips and above the waistline in back. Corsets are free and easy with elastic webbing. For full figures, corsets are heavily boned. Looks like we have a beautiful coat and dress. Look at the panels on that. And just a simple little necklace and some more coats. Goodness, look at those. And look at this one. Here's a dress. Look how just simple that is. Oh, wow. Look at the trim. Just the trim. And the rug. Look at the detail there. Look at the hat. Look at the wedding dresses. Oh. There's another one. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Look at these. So fancy. This is, I love this color. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at the stripes. Rachel Maxi, I think you should make that. I think that would be adorable on you. And here we have young girls. Little girls. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> and here's some more young women. Look at this. Support garment that must be underneath that dress. <laughs> this is pretty. I like that. Look at this hat. Look how like feathery things. Styles, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Strange. Wow. Don't you wish all of them were? Probably would have made it more than 20 cents though. Pretty! Oh. Some more young ladies.
There's a, a like a robe for a man. Sleepwear here. This for kids. Bottom and the economic standing of the Del Tor. Touches her shoulders. Look at this. That little thing. <laughs> so, something to remember when you're looking at. You know, Halloween costume ideas from this time is that through our 21st century eyes, things aren't gonna look appropriate. Case being. Okay, so I understand and I agree. Yeah, I don't even like to look at it because it bothers me. However, I do have to remember this is 19, what did I say, 1923? Oh, I'm sorry, it's 1922 actually. So sadly, you, you have to take it for what it is. Perspectives were different then, at least for the people that were creating the delineator, which was um, Butterick based in New York. So I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but just understand that this is the time frame it's coming from. And thank goodness we've come so much farther. We still have a ways to go, but we're aware, much more aware than we were when we were putting things like this in magazines. Here's a new idea in shoes that's 2,000 years old. Sandal. This is not a sandal. Well, that is a beautiful shoe, I have to say. This, I mean, unless you have quite narrow little feet, I couldn't wear any of those. I have bad feet, but still. <laughs> okay, designs for the new season Butterick patterns with the Deltor now on sale. I think the Deltor was a way of getting the patterns to um, save fabric, but also to really match your figure. I think that's what that's about. So, Butterick presents the charming Parisian coat where the slight draping starts across the figure from a bow. The new drapery is easily managed with the deltor. Drapery caught up at the hip with an ornament appears even in street frocks. The deltor shows you how to make even the ornament as well as the drapery. Interesting that they give you some really good guidelines about how to get this right. Yeah, it is about saving you material for sure. Yeah, see that? How to put it together. Oh yes, I thought since, you know, it's October, things are getting cold. Here's your union suit. Yeah. It's not a men's union suit, it's a pretty women's union suit and you also have them for kids made by carters all right welcome to the delineator for october 1923 got us here the new in new york says this is helen ford the silhouette which smart women affect is straighter slider with or more supple than ever skirts are just width of the hip and fit they're so closely that one sees the movement of the figure in walking. This is true of the new long straight coats as well as of dresses. One notices that everything is worn just a trifle longer through, though the change is not pronounced. Oh my goodness. Look at the detail on these. Look at this. My goodness. Hope it doesn't rain when she's wearing that hat. Look at the neck. 
goodness gracious. Dresses, look at the tie on that. Look at her fan. color. Look at this little tiny handbag. doesn't it? These all do. So cute. Look at the ruffles on there. All cut on the bias. Oh, and there's a puppy. Got no puppy in there. Looks like he's after her slippers. some more costumes. Like I said before, there's one in here that's offensive to our modern eyes. So, here we go. Pirouette. Oh. Okay, is this the cutest witch costume you've ever seen? She's beautiful. It's a butterfly. Look at her little legs. Oh, and a ballet costume. Isn't he dapper? Isn't she smart? My goodness. Maybe she's going to her first dance, huh? <laughs> and these look like night. Night dresses or home dresses, maybe. Apron and cap. It's a good size pocket right there. Yeah. This is just an ad for their pattern with that um, fitting system. Eventually, no woman will use a pattern at any price that does not give this service. The French methods of finishing your dress. The newest color combinations. Professional methods of putting together individual cutting charts to save you money. It's very important. Best materials for the design. It puts into your hands the style secrets of Paris, London, and New York. I do love so much the ads in, in old magazines. This is whole proof hosiery. And then this is Warner's Wraparound, the corset invisible. So there she is wearing her invisible corset. 1924, October, the delineator. At very first glance, these are looking even narrower than the ones from years past. What do you think? Do you think? At least at first glance.
Isn't that pretty? She's got a dog. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the... Look at down here. There's these ruffles. On the bottom. Hers is just a drape, but look at her. Oh. Here we have young ladies, young girls, and children. Look at this pink. They got pumpkin. <laughs> So pretty. They're so sophisticated looking, aren't they? the puppy and we have costumes oh Pierrette is back for another year <laughs> oh apparently that's Dutch costume her little shoes oh Turkish costume We'll just leave that one right there. Look at those coats. Dress. Ostrich apron, front, bands, trim, the young girl's frocks. Is what it said. The tunic at the new close-fitting hip line appears among bouffant and draped styles. Put more embellishments here. Oh. And this is their, how they, they're doing things in their night clothes go here. The personality shop and what it is it's a little pretend like a little story about this woman wanting to make herself a dress and she goes and talks to this lady who gives her um, the idea of getting a booklet called making beautiful clothes every woman and girl who delights in lovely dresses ought to read that book this is a plumbing ad. Look at the artwork. This is Mod Art Corsets. How scandalous. You can see her corset under her dress. <gasps> Ladies, behold the famous Underbelt, a reducing corset unsurpassed at $5. This dog does not look convinced, but made by Royal, Royal Worcester Corset Company. Reduces the slightest or most excessive abdomen and perfectly sustains sagging flesh and relaxed muscles. Oh my. The underbelt is designed not only to support and reduce, but scientifically creates an erect carriage with fashionable flat back and slender hip lines of the finest quality material and workmanship. This is one of the best values skillful corseting design can offer at $5. There are my magazines from times past. And um, again, beautiful artwork everywhere you look. 
So I hope you enjoyed our look through the past of 1908, 1910, 22, 23, and 24. <laughs> Join me next time. I am hoping to get um, a couple of videos done. One is going to be my um, historical Halloween um, that I'm participating in with Costo. And the other one is the stash swap that I did with other Costubers. I just got my fabric today. I'm so excited. I just have to narrow down the ideas of things I wanna do with it, so. That's still to come. Keep an eye on this channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future videos coming up, go ahead and hit the um, bell icon to be notified of future and subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks again for joining me. See you next time. Maisie, hi, are you helping me today? You are. What did you, did you bark at things today? Oh, good girl. Hey, Maisie. What is it? Gonna wag your little tail? Okay. Maisie. Hi, sweetie. Do you, did you like, do you wanna, did you go for a ride yesterday? You did. Did you have fun? You did. Hi, Barnaby. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for helping me today. Okay, see you later. Hey, Barnaby. There's nothing on the floor for you here to eat. Sorry. Hi. Did you have fun yesterday going for a ride? You did? You're so cute. That was yesterday, Mace. Maybe we'll go for a ride later, huh? Bye. Love you, kids.